Hi! In this video we're going to be talking about arming and recording audio tracks inside of Mixcraft to create our first song. If you haven't already seen it, you can pause this video now to check out our quick start guide to configure your audio interface and settings. If you don't plan to record audio or MIDI, and instead want to use Mixcraft's included library of loops and sounds, you can skip ahead to our video about using Mixcraft's loops and library. Before we begin recording, it's probably important to note that I haven't actually written this song yet. Let's go ahead and do that now. Alright, and we're back, the song is now written and we're ready to get started. Before we do that, let's go ahead and set up our project tempo and key. So I know my song is going to be in the key of E minor. We'll go down here to the transport bar and we see this C here. This is our project key. I'll click that and enter E instead. Next up, let's set our project tempo. I'm not quite sure what it is offhand, but we can use the tap tempo function to set this automatically. To do that, we'll click the tempo here and then click the tap, counting along to the beats of our song. In my case, it seems to go between 90 and 95. We'll go and highlight all this, and we'll call it 92, somewhere right in the middle. Now that we've set up our project key and tempo, we're almost ready to get started with recording. But you'll notice over here, all of our tracks are currently named Audio Track, which isn't really the most friendly name for all of them. Let's start things off by organizing our audio tracks by giving them a new name. To do that, we can double click the name and replace it. So I've renamed this track Acoustic 1 because I know I'm going to have two acoustic guitars, two electric guitars, and a bass. Let's go ahead and rename all these now. Awesome, we've got them all named so now we know what we're recording onto each track. Now that we've got all of our tracks named, we can get started with recording. In my case, I want to start by recording my acoustic guitar first, so we'll click this track. Before we begin recording audio, we'll need to make sure we're sending the right input signal to this track. The input signal is the device that's going to send sound into Mixcraft. In my case, I'm going to be sending a microphone into my audio interface. I'll be recording all my guitars and instruments using my audio interface today, but if you don't have an audio interface, you just need a sound card with a compatible input to send sound into Mixcraft. To set the audio input, we'll go over here and click the down arrow. I know that I'm going to be using Mic Input 1 on my audio interface. I'll go over here to Mic 1 and Mic 2, and then we'll select Input 1 because that's the only one I'm using. Now that we've selected the input, we can see that the meter is moving here when I talk because I'm using that input currently to record my voice. Mixcraft has automatically armed the track, so this means it's armed and ready for recording. We're almost ready to begin recording now, but we should check to make sure our input level is a nice healthy signal. So I'll go ahead and strum out a few chords, and we'll make sure the meter is somewhere just above the middle, but not too high where it goes into the red, which is known as clipping, which is both very distorted and highly annoying, and we don't want it to be too soft either. We want it to be somewhere right here in the middle. Let's go ahead and strum out a few chords to make sure our input level is good. Alright, awesome, that looks good to me. So before we begin, we should also probably double check to make sure our guitar is in tune. Mixcraft includes a built-in tuner which is really handy for checking your instrument's tuning. To access that, we'll go over here to the left and click the tuning fork. Then, the meter will become a tuner. We'll go ahead and play my guitar's A string, and then repeat for each of the following strings to make sure it's in tune. Excellent, now that we're in tune we can disable the tuner here, and then we just want to make sure our metronome is on so we can stay in time while we're recording. To make sure the metronome is on, we can go down here and click on the metronome icon. From there, we can make sure the metronome is enabled during recording by checking this box here, and adjust the volume of the metronome if needed. Then, we'll hit OK. Now, we're ready to begin by recording our first guitar for our first song in Mixcraft. To start recording, we can go down here to the lower left and click the record button, or press R on the keyboard. Let's record our guitar and get things started. Awesome, so we can stop recording using the spacebar or at the stop button in the transport bar. Now that we've recorded our first guitar, we can unarm the track and take a listen to what we've recorded. 
To do that, we can go back to the beginning using the Rewind to Beginning button in the transport bar, or by clicking here at the top in bar 1. Let's take a listen to the guitar we recorded. Excellent. We captured a solid performance, everything is in tune and in time, and I'm happy with this. However, there's a quick problem we'll need to address. If we go back to the beginning and you listen very closely, you'll hear a little bit of me shuffling around and some clicks from the metronome. We definitely don't want that in the final recording. What we can do is trim the clip to get rid of this silence here that we don't need. To trim the clip, We'll go to the beginning of the clip and hover over it, and use the Resize tool here to drag up to bar 3 where the guitar part begins. As you can see when I do this, Mixcraft snaps the clip to a given grid value. The grid is represented by these lines here, which represent musical intervals. In my case right now, you can see it's set to snap to 8th notes. If you need to change the snap to grid settings, you can click this here, and then change the note value, or completely disable it. Usually I just leave this on 8th notes because I find that's a good value that usually works in most cases. Similarly, there's a little bit of noise on the end of the clip here. Let's take a listen. I want to get rid of that as well. To do that, once again, we'll hover over the end of the clip here and use the resize tool to drag off all the unnecessary noise. Let's take a listen to that. Perfect. I think that sounds good and the clip is now trimmed up nice and neat. Next up, I'll record my second acoustic guitar layer and I'll meet you guys back here in a bit. Okay, now that I've finished recording my acoustic guitars with my microphone, I want to start recording some electric guitars. But to do that, we'll need to plug my guitar directly into my audio interface, as I won't be using an amplifier because we can add one later inside of Mixcraft. With that in mind, I've plugged my guitar into the guitar input one of my interface, and we'll need to change our track in Mixcraft to go to the appropriate input. We'll go over here to the down arrow once again, find Guitar 1, and select Input 1. Now, the track is armed and I can play my guitar, and we see it's being recorded. Now that we've selected the correct input, let's strum out a few chords once again just to make sure the recording level is good. Perfect. Let's go ahead and record some electric guitars. Alright, so that sounded good, but towards the end here you can see we went a little too loud when I really started to play hard and it started to clip, which we definitely don't want. We'll need to delete this and do another take. To do that, we can click the top of the clip here and hit the delete key on our keyboard. Now let's go back to the beginning, lower our signal input, and then do another take. To lower the signal input, we'll simply find the channel we've plugged into and turn its gain down. If you're using the Core Audio Wave RT driver, you can adjust your track's input gain by going over to the meter and grabbing the red bar and moving it up or down. Excellent. Let's finish things out by recording our second electric guitar layer, and finally, the bass. Okay, and we're back. So now all of my tracks have been recorded. I recorded my other acoustic guitar track, my two electric guitars, and my bass guitar. Just for good measure, let's trim the rest of these clips up. That way we have everything starting nice and neat, and we don't have any noise at the beginning of the recording. Then, we'll do the same here to trim off the ends of the clips that we don't need. Now that we've trimmed everything up nice and neat, let's take a listen to what we've recorded. Very cool. I think we're off to a really good start so far. By now, you should be comfortable with arming and recording audio tracks inside of Mixcraft to create your first song. That does it for this video, so thanks for watching.